In this video, we're going to try to go through the steps of setting up the environment uh, in Visual Studio 2022 in order to make your Visual Studio ready for creating .NET MAUI applications. Okay, so this is the Visual Studio installer. Okay, you can find it in the search area. Once you find it, go to your Visual Studio 2022. Right? In my case, I have uh, the community edition for 2022. Once you update to the latest, click on the modify button. And then you will need to find the desktop and mobile application part, right? This part. And it says .NET multi-platform application UI development. And you need to check it. And then you just need to install it, right? In my case, I have already done it. And once you've done it, you will be able to create a .NET MAUI application. So once you updated your Visual Studio 2022 and then you installed .NET MAUI, now you can create the project, right? So let's go through the process, creating a new project. And then these are my recent project templates. But if you just installed .NET MAUI for the first time, then you wouldn't be able to see these. So what you can do is you can go to the search bar and then you can type MAUI. And then you'll be able to see a list of applications. We're going to select the first one, which is a .NET MAUI app, right? And then click on the next one. And we are going to name the solution contacts because we're going to create a contacts application. And I like to name the solution after the purpose of the application. So in this case, it's a contacts app. So I'm just going to call it contacts. And then the project, I'm going to have the purpose and then the type of project. In this case, it's a MAUI app. And then I'm going to click on the next one. I'm going to select .NET 7. I'm going to click on Create. Here you have it. This is the only project you see in this solution, right, for now. Later, we're going to add different projects, which mainly .NET MAUI class libraries to support us to uh, create applications in different layers, right? We, we can't just put everything in one project. No companies does that. So you will have to learn to separate uh, different things in different layers, which will reside in different projects, different class libraries. So in this case, uh, what you can do is first you can run it in Windows machine, right? But in this course, we're going to mainly target Android. But if you do prefer to run it in Windows, uh, then you may encounter kind of like a error like this. Right, so it says uh, Windows Defender Firewall blocked the broker.ex. So you will need to allow access, right? You need to click, click on the allow access in order to uh, be able to deploy your application to Windows environment. Very likely, it will prompt you to say that, you know, you have to enable developer mode for Windows, right? And then you just click on the settings for developers, right? You will see this screen and then you just click on this button to turn on the developer mode. This will enable you to uh, deploy and run applications in Windows mode. That's how you set up the environment for Windows machine. Uh, but what I would try to do is to go to the Android device manager. Right, and then you will need to add a emulator. In my case, I'm using Pixel 5, right? API 3031. You just need to install the same thing. You can you can use um, different uh, mobile phone emulators, uh, but I chose this one. And it's possible that you will have to turn on Hyper-V, right? In order to accelerate the emulator so that it runs faster, right? So this is the, uh, the options that you need to Choose when you go to Windows Features, you turn on these features in order to enable Hyper-V to accelerate your Android emulator. So once you're all done, then you would be able to go to Android emulator and then you can change this to target your selected Android mobile emulator, right? So in this case, if we run the application, it's going to take a while for the first time and then it will be way faster because after build, it will identify the differences between the this build and next build, and it will only deploy the differences instead, instead of the whole thing, 
right? For the first time, it's going to compile and then it's going to deploy everything into the uh, the emulator. That's going to take a few minutes, depending on how fast your machine runs. You know, finally, it deploys to the application, and next time it's going to take shorter time. But you can see that the application is deployed to my uh, Pixel 5 emulator, and then everything runs, you know, normally. And in the next video, we're going to go inside the solution of Individual Studio and see the project structure.